Okay, hello. Welcome to the uh, final part, Last Maharaja. And, yep, just gonna give a commentary on this. I, I will be honest here, um, I had completely, I would played this before, but I completely forgotten that you start out the first part by having Jacob beat up a bunch of people. Um, this, speaking honestly, is one of my least favorite types of missions in games, where essentially you have to do your job, which is fine, but the other part of it is that you um, have, a, have a, an ally who you have to also keep alive. This this one's particularly annoying because Sin is the one who's pretty much starting the fight. <laughs> so I have to get in there and try and defend uh, Duleep Sin, and he's you know fighting a little bit, but not nearly as 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 prolific and or as good as he should be in a fight. I mean, you're starting to fight with these guys, and essentially he's yeah, you know he could pull his weight. I'm just saying. Then so I get that little, your ally is very, is very much injured, and it's like, um, yeah. It's kind of his own fault. Ugh. So, yeah, the idea he's going to attract the attention of the uh, person who he thought was his friend, but turns out to be his enemy. Uh, what's his name? They just said it, I missed it. Oh, well. So... And of course the uh Ah uh, yes, that that was a very good shot there. <laughs> Brindley, that's the guy's name. Ugh. So I, I think I, I was actually supposed to run away again and I being me just pulled out a gun and started shooting, so I, I always find it interesting that knives do more damage. Of course, I, I've got a few um, abilities and skills with knives. Um, that's uh, at least with Evie. Her outfit that she has gives her 30% more damage with the knives, and yeah, I've maxed out all of her other uh, knife-like abilities. So, so I heal, hit this guy a couple times, and he vanishes. That's like a regular X-Files moment right there, just... Wow, I hit him harder than I thought. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there are times in the game where you're not entirely sure the best route. You you, you have an end, end location dot, and then you just kind of try and figure out your way through. And... Yeah, you did. <laughs> I thought I could go that way, and I turned out, you know, having to push aside one of my own guys to get to go this other way. Yeah. I just, it, I seem to be, you know, fairly good with video games, but certain things like driving carts or running down the street, I tend to run into things. Um, maybe I'm just eager to get to the location, and I ignore things I probably shouldn't ignore. <laughs> like other people. Well, regardless. So. <laughs> and that's the thing. People people put keep putting things like walls in my way. Stuff like that. Okay, here we are. Finally found Evie, who I prefer to play anyway. He's gone mad. Greeny was right. He isn't mad, Jacob. I trying to take kind of agree with Jacob on that one. He's 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 gone mad. He's yeah. Starting a fight with four really big guys, and then having me pick up the slack, I, I count that as going mad. So, yep, yeah, I've, I've traded out for Eevee. And... Time passes. <laughs> and more time passes. In movies, everything is perfectly edited, but in video games, you have those pauses while things load. <laughs> oh. I was expecting Jacob, but I'm glad it's you who have come. He thinks you've gone mad. I probably have. What's your plan? I've asked Brinley to meet me here alone. 
in turn. He, of course, has sent a small army to secure the area. You Don't you love it when people do that? It's like, quick, meet me alone. They show up with like half a dozen people. In this case, it, it's about 20 Templars I have to take out. Haha. <laughs> now I'm super ninja stealthy V. So, my general plan when approaching stealth areas is seize the high ground. That's probably one of your best uh, strategies anyway. In, in Assassin's Creed, it's, it's particularly effective. Nine times out of ten, if you seize the high ground, you'll have the advantage. There's There are exceptions, but for the most part, yeah, I've got the high ground. I've got the throwing knives. I can take out targets by throwing knives. I can take out targets by jumping on them and stabbing them. It's a good plan. So, yeah, right now I'm just marking these characters. and Yeah, one of the problems with eagle vision, throwing knives and eagle visions is, at least for me, is that it's kind of hard to see what, uh, where if I'm aiming right at the uh, target's head or not uh, when I do the knife throw. So sometimes I have to, you know, get throw in an additional knife. Yeah, that, that one was a headshot. And in fairness to me, I thought I had both of them for a double assassin there. Maybe I did and they walked a little too far, but... So... So, yep. Yeah, take out your targets, get to the high ground. Unfortunately, I can't keep the high ground for most of this fight because they're... A lot of my targets are scattered throughout the cemetery. So... <laughs> Ironically, a cemetery is a very appropriate place for them to be. All they have to do is just kind of wait around. No must, no fuss, the cemetery is right there. Of course, it wouldn't work nowadays with, you know, all the embalming and stuff we have to do, but anyway. No, moving on, moving on. <clears throat> so, yeah, planning strategy here. Actually, no, I wasn't. I was waiting until I got a clear shot at the bell. Yeah. Obviously, I never miss with a knife. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, you disable bell bells in Assassin's Creed by taking out the clapper. Very dramatically, actually. <laughs> but it works. Yeah, I heard them say over here, so I thought they were going after... Yeah, I thought they might have discovered me and become alerted, but... Apparently they didn't, so we're good. <laughs> I, I just love her invisibility power. Um, it, It's ironic, I got this around the same time I got the uh, Bioshock games. And I was pleased to note that in both games, you, you have that invisibility option. You can't... If you stop moving, you, you can become invisible. Um... After, after a moment. Um, and actually in Bioshock, it's a little bit better since you can actually stand still and have people literally bump into you and still not see you. In this one, if people bump into you, oh yeah, hey, there's somebody there. But it, it, It's great for distance work and, you know, freezing up when people see you. I actually think I did a fairly good job with this, although I think, yeah, coming up here is one of my, uh, is a little bit of a screw-up, but I thought I'd work my way around them, but yeah, a a as you will see, it didn't quite work out as being completely behind them. But yeah, so, work, work my way behind them, and unfortunately it didn wasn't perfect. So a lot of this, what a lot of games are, is standing still, plotting, planning your next move. Now I thought going straight at them from what, from that point, I would get behind them, but I should probably have moved to the other gravestone first. And yep, but no harm done. I'm I'm able to take them out before they raise an alarm, and no bail saw me. So. Yeah, get it. It becomes when people are all alone in games like this. 
And this is going to sound actually a little creepy now that I think about it, but when people are all alone, they're per it's they're perfect. You can take them out without anybody noticing. When they move in groups, it's possible, but it becomes a little bit more challenging. And but if you can make your way behind them, like I do with these guys, you have the double assassination in this game, so it works a little bit better. But yeah, that's you know I I think I actually did a good job with this uh, stealth playthrough here. Imagine sneak up behind people. That one didn't work either. Although I, I I managed to get an assassination on two of those guys before they became aware of me. So yeah, that's the thing about this game. You can only do assassinations if nobody knows you're there. Once they become aware of you, um, in a combat zone like we are, if they become aware of you almost immediately, you can't do the assassination. Yeah, I thought I'd hide in an assess situation here. But um, if, if they become aware of you and you're not in a combat zone or a, an area you're not supposed to be in, that's usually marked the map in red or, in this case, gold. Um, yeah, if you're in that situation then and they spot you, then generally you, you have to fight them or use a weapon on them, a throwing knife or something, to get them out. You can't do the uh, traditional assassination with the hidden blade. Just a complex look at th at this incredibly complex game. Well, no, it's actually a pretty straightforward game, but there's a lot of stuff that happens in it. So, yeah, we have another part here where I couldn't quite... Usually when you press up against a wall, and may, I think it's just because it, it wasn't a smooth type wall, usually you get up against a wall and you press against it and you can do an assassination around the corner, which is what I was trying to do, but didn't quite work out that way and he became aware of me and I had to fight him. Yeah. And now just one more target left. And yep, yay. That that's actually that's actually at least for me is a pretty fun area. I enjoy the stealth things, and when I get them right, I'm I'm particularly happy about them. And it took me a minute to figure out where um, uh, Dooley scene was, so I had to run all the way around the church and say, "Oh, oh, there you are." Yeah, I've known people like that. You know, they just say, "I'll wait here," and then you go, and they're gone somewhere. And you have to search everywhere and find them. Anyway, we are getting back to this uh, point. Basically, he just wants time alone with his to talk to his friend. Sir, this is dangerous, Miss Fry. This is something I must do, and I must do it alone. Remain hidden. I cannot afford to have them see you. Yeah, if if you're seen, um, if you're seen, basically he just shoots Dooleep, and you fail the mission. So you you have to do this without being seen. But fortunately, it puts you in the best possible position, which is on the roof. So, now, what I normally do is get close to the target and take him out with the knife, like I do with this first guy. Um, the problem, it the problem that with yeah, one the problem with targeting is right when you get the target and then they move. That's always annoying. And once again, didn't get the head, but uh, well. Now I can take this other guy out from the roof, but I decided to do a uh, leap of faith because it, it, that's actually the best way down is to do a leap of faith. You're not noticed when you do it, and you can get close enough to take out this guy. Now that guy over there, I can't take out from the roof. He's just too far away. So I do actually, I did actually have to come down and take out the uh, third and final target. And pretty much the best thing to do is what I do here is wait for him to come within range and hit him with a knife. I've tried it other ways and usually I get spotted. So, I think technically you're supposed to shoot, but yeah, I, I just went after him that way. It's like, no, 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 don't assassinate him. I'm 
were sent here for. Be done with it, girl. I shall never forfeit my own mission. I will not allow it. The logins, the uh. coven, they all wanted your silence. Whether you spare me or end me, you won't escape the fate they have planned for you. It seems you have learned nothing of India, of its people. But killing you, that is something I cannot do. It would make me no better than the cursed, oppressive company you work for. Yeah. You will die as you erase sin. You'll never be more than a, a trophy of war. It's an interesting thing about that sort of moral victories. Is that for someone like Brindley, it's like he's lost, but at least he's gained his life. For someone like Julie Seen, it's a moral victory to not kill him. Um, but both sides kind of see it as, as a win. One guy gets spared and gets to live. And Duleep Singh gets to, you know, say, no, I'm not you. I'm, you know, keep his humanity, essentially. So. Mm-hmm. It's a long and grueling journey, but it is something I must do, even if it takes me to my own death. So, yep, that was the mission. Last Maharaja, I hope you enjoyed this DLC. I did enjoy uh, playing it and most of the commentary. Um, like and subscribe if you like this. And, yeah. Oh, wait, let's see my score before we uh, take take off. Yay, I did awesome. See you next time. Bye.